In this video, we're going to talk about VMFS resignaturing. I'm not going to go over it in the GUI. Um, I mean, it's pretty much, that's pretty much detailed out in the same post. So we'll go through and do it on the CLI. So I have an SSH session open to my host. So the first thing we need to do is find the volumes that are considered snapshots, which means they're, they're replicated alone. They have the same UUID as an existing VMFS volume. So start out by listing those snapshots. Well, this is super quick. All right, there we go. So you can, here you can see this is the GUID, and you can see the volume. Or I'm sorry, the UUID. You can see the volume name is replicated LUN. It is able to be mounted, and you can resignature it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to mount it, but we're not going to resignature it. So we're going to keep the existing signature. Do a dash L to specify the the volume label, which is replicated LUN. So before we do that, you, you come in here. This is the the host that I'm SSH into. I I don't have that volume mounted, but I do have. You'll see here. Th there's a uh, <coughs> a VM underscore replicated VM. It says inaccessible. So. That's the VM that's actually was on that data store when it was replicated, and then I took the primary copy offline. So once we let's go ahead and execute this, uh, I didn't spell storage right. It's not stort. That's not going to work. All right, let's try that again. All right, so no no uh no feedback is good. So now you can see here that the replicated LUN showed up. And this guy should at some point come back all right and there we go now it's, it's came back took about a minute or so but all right so th that's how from the CLI how you do and you know it mount a LUN while keeping the existing signature now let's go back and do the same thing, but let's resignature it this time. So, let's let this snapshot revert, and that should bring me back to the state I was just in. Just uh, save time. Let's rescan this. I don't know how long that would take to actually show that the LUN is no longer there. And for those of you who are, cu who are curious how I, I set this up, I have two Solera VSAs here, VSA01 and VSA02. And all I did was I created a LUN, replicated to 02, and then I reversed the replication to, to make that the read-write copy. Um, and then before I imported anything into here, I took a snapshot of it. So I was able to revert back and, and do testing and this video. 
All right, so it's gone now. I actually just did a unmount on it, and we should be good. So now let's go back to the CLI, and let's mount it, but let's resignature it. It's essentially the same command, but you're going to add the resignature. Instead of mount, you'll say resignature. S oh. And again, it's the same replicate LUN. Now, when this finishes, you, the the volume is going to show up in here, but this VM will not. What you're going to have to do if you resignature a LUN that has a VMFS on it, you need to either edit the VMX and point it to the new UUID or just remove it from the inventory, browse to the new data store that mounts, and add it back. All right, now I should pop back up here in a second. And there it is. And as you can see, it actually added snap and then I believe that's part of the UUID if, if, if we look at that maybe the, the the last octet if you will of that UUID Yeah, so after looking at the the full UUID of that, that, that's not part of it. I'm not sure where that comes from. But anyway, that's uh, using ESX CLI to mount snapshotted, essentially snapshotted volumes with either keeping the existing signature or doing a resignature.